Rike Project Management Tutorial. How to use Rike. Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. If you have any sort of company that you're working within or if you're a project manager, um, if you own your own business, this is a great way to organize all of your um, processes. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use Rike right here. So the first thing you want to do on this homepage, as you can see here, Rike.com, you want to go up to the top right hand side and you want to tap on the try Rike for free. So this will give you the opportunity to open a free account. They don't require any credit cards or anything like that to sign up. And then eventually you will get to this page, which basically is your dashboard. This is where you see everything um, and where you manage everything from. So part of the um, part of the process while signing up is having to define certain things about your business, such as um, how many people work for the company and um, some other basic information. So you also get to choose your layout and um, there's a couple different options. So right over here, I'm going to show you now how to actually use Rike. So the first thing, as you can see on the left hand side, you have a bunch of um, tools on your toolbar. So right over here, you have a search function as well as your inbox. And um, there's an assigned to me tab, which allows you to see all the tasks that have been assigned to you. Now, if you're not the author or the owner of the business or the project manager um, of the Rike account, then you will have projects directly assigned specifically to you. So you can see what projects you need to complete. So um, in your inbox, of course, that's where you will receive and send all your messages from um, within your team. And then as we go down over here, we have this space. So this basically is um, what you're actually seeing over here on the right hand side or on the main part of the screen. So um, you can see here wedding season is um, selected and I've used a photography company um, as an example. So I've used wedding season as a space. And what you can do here is you can just add a project in over here and you can maybe make it, um, you know, uh, a different type of um season or a different sort of campaign as you're going down over here you'll see here that um they want you to complete your uh, account such as creating your profile um creating a project adding tasks and there's a bunch of other stuff that you need to do to complete this profile at the moment i'm only 20 percent complete i'm going to just close that for now another um, very important thing that you need to know is on the bottom left hand side there is an invite button now what happens over here is if you have team members that you would like to invite this is basically where you're going to invite them so once you tap on that you will have a window that will give you the opportunity to enter the email address of the person that you want to invite you can also add a message which is optional and you can um, assign 24 um, members to your team and then also you can choose the user type so either they're an admin and this allows them to manage account settings and edit then there is a regular user they they can only edit and then the collaborators they can only comment they can change statuses and attach files and I'm going to show you what um, these statuses actually are in just a moment so once you've done that you can just hit send invite and it'll be sent out to whomever you have invited once they receive that invite they can just click on the link and they will have to open a Rike account and thereafter they will be in this account so they'll see exactly what you see of course um, they'll only have certain uh, things uh, or certain functions available to them depending on what their uh, user status is so the first thing over here this is very very easy um, right now we're having a look at a board view right over here at the top you can change this view so either it's a board view or a table view you can change that I personally prefer the board view because it just shows like a proper work for from left to right from like your initial um, contact with a client to the end result um, of where you end up like closing your deal or delivering your goods or whatever the case may be so the the board looks great for me and it works well um, and having a look at the table, so this over here, you know, the status um, is all in one um, 
in one column and then the assignee the name of the project um, of course all the details here will be different depending on what it is that you actually are using this for however i do prefer the board view and you can have a look here once you tap on all there are a bunch of other um things that you can actually add here so you can also add a view there's a bunch of different things that you can add to this charts calendars files and so forth so we're going to stick to this for the moment and um i'm going to show you exactly what it actually all um, does and what it all looks like and how you can edit it all so the first thing is for a photography company you get an inquiry perhaps and this is your first column over here so if you want to change what this column says you can just tap on it and um, on the top right of that there's a more button you can tap that and you can say edit status now um, you can change this to whatever it is that you would like uh, depending on what company you are in and what work you do you can change this to um, anything that you'd like you can also assign a specific color to this and the reason a specific color is great for this is because um, when you having a look at your analytics which I'll show you later on in the video you'll actually see the different colors um, on your analytics so you can easily see uh, what every what the status of everything is so we're gonna leave this blue for now and um, we're gonna just uh, tap anywhere else and it'll go back out and you can see here that the changes will be made so over here you have your job um, so Josh and Candace have inquired for a wedding and we can just tap on that block and on the right hand side you'll see that there's a window that opens up now this window is where all the details are so if you are working within a team or if you have many jobs you can um, use this window over here to see all the details you don't have to remember all of these things you can just see all the details right over here so it's in the campaign called wedding season and you can change that if you'd like um, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now then we have the status which is under inquiries you can change it here but we're not gonna change it here for now I'll show you later on how we actually move this about also the assignee which is myself you can then assign this um, to anybody else and then what they will see when they go to the assigned to me is only the um, the tasks that are assigned directly to them. You can also put a date on this. So um, you can put a date either today's date or the date that it was inquired so that you know um, when this person um, actually inquired. Also, if you have any sort of... Um, validity period you can put this in over here so you know in seven days from now um, you know this quote um, expires or um, you need to get back to the client you need to speak to them again or whatever the case may be so um, then this over here you can see on the right hand side um, if you hit these arrows you can add a sub item over here you can also add a file maybe there's an image you want to add there maybe there's a document that you want to add there um, maybe uh, you know whatever it is you want to add that there you can do so the next thing is um, there is a description so you can add a description a description really you can put anything you want in there such as like a location or potential locations um, where the client is located where the shoot is going to be um, and any other details of the shoot this being a wedding season um, uh, project so we can have a look at maybe different elements of weddings and so forth then um, if you're going down over here, you can see that there are a few other options, um, such as the ID, author, the created date, the importance, which you can change. You can just tap on there. It's either high, normal, or low. And then your budget. So your budget, you can actually change this budget over here. You can change that um, to maybe whatever it is that you are um, quoting this person or you can enter in what the client's budget is so depending on what sort of work you're doing again these details will change again you can add that sub item um, there's the description again and then you can see who has actually um, worked on it so there's actually a history on this actual task so you can see today this is what happened to it then once you're done, um, on the top right hand side, there is a link. You can copy the link to this item and you can send it to maybe one of your team members or anybody else that you'd like to have view it. Also, the three dots over here, you can open this up in a new tab so you can see it in full screen. Um, you can also enter the full screen. You can duplicate it. And um, there's a bunch of other things that you can do over here. So once we're done with that, we're going to just close that. And now you can see that we have different um, columns over here. So the first one being inquiries. 
It also gives you a total count of inquiries that are in that column. Then the second one is quoted. So the reason I've done this like this is because the process is somebody makes an inquiry and they say they need you to do a shoot on this day at this location. And then what you do is you send them a quote. So let's say we have now taken Josh and Candace and we have um, received the inquiry they, we've worked out a quote and we've sent them the quote now we take this we click down and we can just drag over and um, we can now put them in the quoted column again um, if you want to you can change all the details over here the three dots you can um, add details here you can change the status you can change the importance and then you can just click on the window itself and you can actually just change all the details as we did earlier on if you want to add a new task to any one of these columns, you can just go ahead and tap on the plus task button and you can add a new task quickly and easily, just like any one of these. Another thing that you want to maybe do is when we're moving to the deposit pay. Now, let's say somebody has booked us. They said, OK, yes, we want your services for this date and in this location. Um, now we have to move this um, person, let's say Mia and Grant. We're going to move them to the deposit pay. Now they've paid a deposit and now we can see that. Um, these guys have paid a deposit and we are ready to do their shoot. Again, we can edit the date over there. So um, we can then put a date in as to the confirmed date of the actual shoot. Then you can see over here, the next column I have entered in here, the shoot has been completed so that the shoot complete. And now we can take Billy and Elsa and we can move them in over here. And you can see now that Billy and Elsa, their shoot has been completed, but our job is not done. So the next column is the media that has been delivered. So it's media completed and delivered. You can edit that tag um, over there to whatever it is that you'd like. All you need to do is um, you tap on the three dots and you go all the way down to the bottom. You say edit status and uh, you can say uh, media completed or media delivered or whatever the case may be. And uh, you can just hit enter again. We can change the color of all of these things and I'll show you why that is important now. If you would like to add another status to this um, workflow you can um, but you know obviously your needs will be very specific to the type of company that you're working in and the type of work that you're doing going over now um, you can now see um, all of what you've completed in this column and once you get acquainted with this um, workflow you will easily be able to manage what's coming in and what's going out on the top left hand side there is um, what would be your initials you can tap on that and you get a bunch of settings so you get your settings you get apps and integrations there is also a mobile app available and then there's some help um, tabs which you can speak to somebody from um, Reich but we're going to go into settings for now and basically what the settings tab allows you to do is um, you can go ahead and you can change your personal settings from your profile. As you can see here, all of the details from your workspace settings, your tasks, subtasks, and um, all of the other details. You can also change your work schedule settings over here. So you can change what days you're actually be up and running and working. And uh, you can manage all of those items over there. Also, your account information, you can change all those settings. And then your email preferences, if you are sending out emails, if you have some integration integrated apps that are um, working with right so maybe you can automatically send emails out to clients once the task has been put into a new column you can set that all up over here and there are a bunch of other settings um, there are also account management settings such as users work schedules subscriptions and then your general um, your general settings and as you can see here, now we're going to go and tap on all and we can now go into calendar. And if you see uh, your calendar view, you can now um, put your tasks on your calendar so you can see in a calendar view um, what your month will look like um, and uh, what days you'll have shoots or what days you need to deliver or what days you have meetings and so forth. As you can see here, they're all here. And if you want to move them around, all you have to do is click down and actually just um, drag and drop them to wherever you need to drop them. And it's quick and easy and it's an awesome, awesome app if you want to manage your business or anything else that you need. It is great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and we will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.